All right, so let's talk about some more My Hero Academia stuff. Um, so yeah, um, anyways, you can tell, um, let's talk about some, uh, My Hero Academia ships. Um, yeah, I got a couple, and a lot of them are pretty, um, some of them are like, okay, really, that one? Or, you know, what have you. There are some you're like, oh, okay, that one makes sense. Um, but yeah, there's one, as you can tell, right here that I really enjoy. Let's talk about that one first and foremost. And that is, uh, Tokoyami and, uh, Sue. So, the frog and bird head. Uh, frog bay and bird head. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, like, this is a very fan-generated, um, relate, you know, fan-generated ship. This is, because there isn't really a lot of them together, except when they battle with ectoplasm. So, there isn't a lot to, of basis to go on, and it's mostly, when they get together, it's mostly situational stuff. But I like the idea, because their personalities, like, in some way, seem to, you know, work together. Their, personal, uh, their personalities really do um, coalesce. They really do feel like a nice, um, like a nice uh, imbalance. Like, Sue can be fun-loving and free, but also, like, she can also be poignant at points, and she's also a pretty good fighter, despite being, you know, fro a frog. And Tokoyami, like, he's he's um, kind of cold and a little distant, he's very antisocial, but he's not like Bakugo or Todoroki to the point where he's this kind of, he's just an asshole, or he's not like an asshole like Bakugo, he just doesn't know how to deal with people, he's not really, he's not, he's like antisocial but not hostile, that's the thing I like about Tokoyami is that he's, um, He's pretty much, like, antisocial, but it's not like, oh, I'm dark and brooding, even though my powers are darkness. It's more like, no, I just don't know how to deal with people. I just, it just, uh, I'll work with you guys, but I really don't know how to deal with you people. So that's kind of what I like with him, is that, um, what I really enjoy about that character, about Tokoyami. And I think that would be really cool, because Sue, I feel like, would bring him out of his shell and also give... I think Sue would also be willing to give him his space. I really do feel like Sue would give Tokoyami his space when he needs it. Because it seems like Tokoyami, while he is a team player, he feels like... I feel like he'd also be like Batman in the sense where he'd be like, I need to, I need to be away from people for a bit. It's just, I need to be away from people. And I think Sue would give him that kind of space, but when he's willing to, you know, get back around people, he'd be willing to go to Sue first. Um, and yeah, also, like, I also can imagine his shadow giving him, not, uh, like, whenever he wants to do something with Sue, uh, the shadow will say it for him. That would just be adorable. Like, oh, I want to hold her hand, but I don't know, what, uh, I don't know what to, how to say that. He's like, hey, he wants to hold your hand. Okay, sure. <laughs> Damn it, Shadow! <laughs> Yeah, so that'd be really en enjoyable. Also, I kind of imagine that, the sh that Tokoyami would use the shadow to keep everyone else at, at, at bay. Like, um... Because everyone would be like, Really? Sue's dating Hawkhead? Let's go find out. Let's go check that out. So they'd all go, and the shadow would come in and, like, scare them off. And, uh, like, chase them off to, um... To, <laughs> to basically keep them away from, um... Uh, from ruining, from possibly ruining his and, and Sue's day. So, that, so that's kind of why I enjoy it. Again, like sometimes a fan, the fandom can make me ship stuff, and Tokoyami and Sue um, kind of fall in that category. So let's talk about the next one. In that, it's Uraraka and uh, Deku. Again, that's a typical ship. Like, if, like there's a good chunk who really do ship those characters together. They're just adorable together. What more can I say? They're just really adorable. They're really, really adorable. It's almost like Naruto and Hinata, but not. But Naruto's not fucking dense about the whole about being crushed on. Well, Deku's kind of oblivious to it at points, but really, it's more like I gotta focus more on being tra on training, or may or possibly Bakugo or some villain's going to kill me. Also, I gotta live up to the to the expectations of uh, my personal hero and probably my six and the person I'm going to have to secede at some point. Yeah. So I can I can buy that. So Uraraka, De Deku and Uraraka, that one totally I'm all for. Um, following that for another ship is Ida and Momo, and I really enjoy like I like this relationship because it's kind of opposites, but it wouldn't be the point where they would be yelling at each other. 
uh, Ida is such a control freak, and Momo is very go with the flow, but also has that kind of like business sense to her. So I feel like they would really, um, uh, they would really like play off of each other easily. Like I think when Ida is like overthinking something, Momo would tell him to calm down, and that would just be hilarious. <laughs> also, I kind of imagine when they if they did date, like Ida would com try to convince Momo to like cover up, and, like change his costume. Is like I, you know, you are dating, you know, you are dating a, f a member of a family of very esteemed superheroes, and she'd be like, I don't fucking care. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, that's um that's another one. So another uh, so let's talk about another ship that I think you guys kind of saw coming. Yeah, so the other ship that you guys are like, oh, okay, that one makes sense, is Kaminari and Jiro. Uh, those two, again, they really... They, that's another one that's heavily hinted at. And also their powers really compensate one another. And also their personalities really um, really uh, play with it, play on each other as well. So they actually feel like a couple... All, him, her and, Kar and Kaminari feel like an actual relationship without being a relationship, if that makes any sense. Um, those two really play off of each other a lot of fun um, but yeah that one that one's you're like okay that one really uh, that one really makes sense um, so moving right along to the next ship and this one's probably gonna make people uh, people go that one really why <laughs> and that is Bakugo and Toga now this ship um, is just complete this would be an utter complete train wreck of a relationship. But it'd be like the kind of re um, train wreck of a relationship you'd like to watch unfold in front of you. It'd be kind of like that. It'd be like watching the Hindenburg be destroyed. It's it's a total horrible disaster, but you can't look away from it. That's how I kind of um, that's how I kind of look at it with this ship, is that it's this beautiful disaster in, um, unfolding before you, but you can't look away from it. Because, yeah, Bakugo's way too high-strung for everybody, um, for every um, superhero, a superhero female character on My Hero Academia, and Toga's way too goddamn crazy. So her craziness, I feel like, cancels out Bakugo's anger. But no, really, that relationship would... That relationship, I guarantee you, would probably end in flames, or, like, a murder-suicide. Like, that... But, like, you couldn't look away. It's like I said, it'd be like, th this re that relationship would be like the Hindenburg exploding. Or the Titanic sinking. Yeah. Which, again, Titanic is a ship, so, yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, man. So, yeah, Toga and Bakugo. That's kind of like the closest I get to crack ship. Although, I guess Sue and, and Tokoyami, that's kind of considered, that would be kind of a crack ship, I guess. Um, if you want to look at it in that regard. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, you guys tell me in the comments below, what do you got, what are some of your guys' uh, favorite ships in My Hero Academia? Um, do you, um, what are some of your favorites, whether they be crack ships or what have you, and just comment below why you guys enjoy them, and once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.